Uh, 20 years ago, AI experts thought that there was no way a, com a computer would beat the world's best chess player, right? And then this happened. That's an inflection point in an accelerating world, and we watch for these inflection points. But Watson, which is the, the IBM uh, system that beat the two best human Jeopardy champions a couple of years ago. Uh, and at the time, AI experts said there's no way this would ever happen. The Jeopardy is a really difficult game. It has nuances, double meanings, puns, humor, irony. And they thought there was no way you could have that level of uh, cognition. And not only did it beat them, it actually tripled their combined score, thrashed them, right? Uh, it's just quite incredible. One of the questions was, uh, uh, what is an angry speech delivered by a pie topping? And the answer was a meringue harangue. And Watson got that correct. I mean, this is how unbelievable this is. So what happens when you take that and apply that to healthcare or education? Right? When you go to the doctor, you get the wrong diagnosis about 35% of the time. And so uh, how do you use these types of technologies to assist with that? And as you take AI and put it into things that move, we have robotics. This is also moving at the same type of pace. You've all seen these kind of $20 helicopters that all the kids are playing with. Uh, four years ago, that cost $700. Eight years ago, it wasn't possible. It wasn't possible to have that level of servo motor stabilizers miniaturized at that level. And now it's literally that $20. And once it's $20, it means you can do really crazy things with it. These are true drones that are, one is throwing up a pole and the other one is catching it and calculating where it needs to be in real time, right? And no human being could control that that well. And you can do that today, right? Um, if you take this to the full extent, you have the Google car. Many of you are familiar with the Google car that drives itself. Um, uh, it uses laser radar to drive around. Uh, it's now done 700,000 miles on California highways and streets without an accident. It's kind of an unbelievable thing. The, we thought, okay, the car's ready, but it would take a long time for a Department of Transport to actually offer and, and authorize the car. And then two years ago, Nevada authorized autonomous vehicles. Uh, and we thought, okay, it's Nevada, they'll authorize anything, right? But now California, Florida, because of senior citizens have done the same. And this car, most people think this car will become prime time in about 10 to 15 years. We think three to five years. Uber has already ordered, pre-ordered 2,500 Google cars for taxi delivery. And so this starts becoming real very, very quickly. Um, and the, uh, most of us could not drive 700,000 miles without an accident, right? And this is version one of the car. It's kind of an amazing thing. So this is becoming real. We estimate that once you roll this car out, this paradigm, it will have a 10 to 15 times impact on roads and traffic capacity of roads without changing infrastructure. We'll be able to get 10 times more people down the roads and highways. So we think this is moving very fast. It's a human vision, legacy we want to leave behind us.